Hi guys, how are you doing? This is Rimtek Sentry and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Samsung DAE570 audio system. This is a wireless Bluetooth speaker that also has a dual dock integrated for older iPhones that have the 30 pin dock connector as well as also a micro USB port or dock for devices like for example the Samsung Galaxy smartphones. So let's get started after the intro. So here we already see the speaker here on this picture and I think this looks very elegant and very premium. Also we have some of the key specifications or the key features like the dual dock that I mentioned for iPhones as well as also Android phones. Of course we also have Bluetooth 3.0 integrated so we can stream our music wirelessly. And we also have the APTX standard and this is for very high quality wireless audio transfer and the open type speaker which you already see here on the picture so we don't really have like a cover in front of the driver itself and I think this looks just excellent and again very premium. Now this speaker usually retails for like $180 in the US and here in Germany usually for around like 100 euros but I got it on like a fire sale for 39 euros. So that's why I bought this. Actually, I bought two of these and I'm just very excited to use these, one in the kitchen and one in the living room or even here in the office to just like watch YouTube videos and stuff and just stream the audio from my tablet or my smartphone. So let's actually cut the seal right here. So we have three seals, very well protected, no doubt about that. And I'm just very excited to see this. As I mentioned before, I actually ordered two of these, but the other one is actually also in its box still. So this is really like my first impressions. I didn't just unbox the other one and now like pretend that this is the first unboxing. This is actually the first time that I really like see this speaker in real life. And I didn't take a look at it before, except of course online. And then we see right here the first dual docking system. But again, I won't use the dock, but it's definitely nice that it's integrated. And let's see, but just in general, I didn't really like expect such a nice design from Samsung. <laughs> so we'll see about that. So here we can lift the styrofoam cover, put this to the side. Then we get this little box right here. I assume this will probably be the power plug. So let's see, no, not only the power plug. So first off, we have one very nice thing here and this is that we actually get a remote included. And I think this should be like standard on basically like any Bluetooth speakers, but of course, like smaller Bluetooth speakers don't have this. But for me, it's just a very nice feature. So we have this like really standard remote here. Nothing special about it, but really nice buttons and also of course volume control as well as track control and also here for adjusting the bass. So I'm pretty happy with this so especially for this like very cheap price it's really nice to have this remote included and I can't wait to actually take a look at the speaker and to then use it. Now next up in this little box we actually have a couple of different adapters I think right here for this dock and then also the battery for the remote and last but certainly not least we have the power brick So here's the power brick, fairly standard plug here on one side and then of course for Germany because I'm based in Germany, but this will just vary on the country that you live in. And then this box here is empty. Then of course we also get some literature right here. Honestly, shouldn't be too difficult, I'll never take a look at this. This actually looks like the cleaning cloth, so that's very nice that they've included this but I still will never open this package, so whatever. And now it's finally time to take a look at the speaker. So, so the packaging is out of the way and we can take a first look at the speaker. Not too heavy at all. And here we have the speaker and God, I kind of wish that I ordered like three or four or five. So yeah, <laughs> looks very nice, even though it's like still covered in plastic. But man, I just love these open drivers. I think this looks absolutely excellent. No reason to really like cover them up because they just look so nice. So here we actually have some advertising on there. So we see again here dual docking, compatible with both Samsung Galaxy phone and iPhone. 
here also the Galaxy S2, Galaxy Note, Galaxy Player, iPhone and iPod, I assume also Android devices from other manufacturers should probably work, I assume. We also have the wireless music streaming in a high quality here, Bluetooth 3.0, open type speaker design and the Samsung wireless audio with dock app required. So I guess we'll take a look at the app after I actually unbox this or I'll take a look at it. Not going to show you the app, at least not now, maybe in the full review. So let's see where we can unwrap this. So here the cover comes off or the plastic. That's like the best part of like any unboxing. And if a product is covered like this in plastic, it already has like the first positive points from me. So <laughs> yeah. So there all the plastic is gone. And then let's see how we can actually remove all the advertising here. So I guess we'll just like peel this off. This actually glued to the unit, which is really weird. So if you want to take a closer look, this is what it said right here, dual docking, and then the wireless music streaming and high quality. And then we can take a look around the device. So here on the back, we actually have the dock. And I think this is a very elegant just solution because if you don't want to use the dock at all and you just want to use it as a Bluetooth speaker, this dock isn't in the way and it just doesn't look silly on the front. So I think this is a very nice solution. Again, of course, here the micro USB for the Galaxy devices as well as also the 30 pin dock connector. I assume this is probably also like one of the reasons why it was so cheap because it doesn't have the lightning adapter or lightning port in general. And then of course, also on the back, we'll find the aux in. So if you don't have a Bluetooth device, if you don't have a Galaxy smartphone or an iPhone, you can still use the aux cable. And we also have, of course, the power in. Then here we have just the base out. And then here on top of the speaker itself, it's difficult to show, but there you can see this circle where we actually have the pairing, the play and pause and the volume up and down. Now on the sides, there's basically nothing, just this glossy black finish that looks amazing now but probably will look like really crappy in a couple of days when there's like a lot of dust on there but again just very minimal samsung branding right here the open speaker design looks absolutely amazing i'm still happy and blown away so yes this is the unboxing and also the quick first look at the speaker I, as I mentioned, I bought two of them, so I'm really looking forward to using them. And so far, I think especially for the price, they just look absolutely excellent. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below, especially considering the price of 40 bucks. I think this looks really like 100 bucks. So uh, yeah, that's basically just it from the unboxing. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video as much as I did. I had a lot of fun. I'm not quite sure why, but I really enjoyed today's video. So there's the plastic out of the way. This is the, what was it called again? Samsung DAE570 IMSB from TechCentury. Thank you very much for checking out the unboxing video of this speaker dock or just the wireless Bluetooth speaker, however you want to call it. Let me know what you think of this in the comment section down below. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for many more fun tech videos. So yeah, I had to stress that. And yeah, just like the video if you enjoyed it. Really helps me out. So thanks again. And I really hope to see my next video.